I'm going to talk about some other uh, important metrics of uh, tree growth and health, and that would be uh, canopy health. And in addition to assessing canopy health, so the crown dieback, uh, transparency, live crown ratio, um, and then stress uh, responses like chlorosis, um, in addition to those metrics of health, uh, it also uh, uh, canopy openness and dieback give you some reference point to size of, of the canopy. So in this lab, we're not directly measuring size, but through uh, measurements of openness and dieback, um, uh, you can uh, relatively uh, quantify size. Embrace our escape gene. Okay, so um, this is still that same poplar, and again, uh, it's it's quite more obvious here that uh, uh, <laughs> the chlorosis. So you can see it's progressive, and again, it looks like there's some blight. So you might want to, that's that uh, black spotting on here. Uh, and I think sometimes that's botrytis. Um, uh, Oh, I can't think of some of the other some of the other nasty things that cause all of this. Um, but but anyway, uh, looking at this tree, so we want to measure transparency, and I know there's been a few questions about transparency. And essentially, uh, we're looking for where if we stand directly under the tree, we look for how much of that tree is open, how much of the canopy is open. So I'm not using a grid system right now. I'm literally standing directly under the tree and pointing my, my camera up. So if I had to just take a guess uh, right now, um, and you can judge me, <laughs> uh, I would say as a, as, as a straight guess uh, from this fraction of the canopy, it looks to be about 15% open, uh, maybe 20 but what I'm going to show you is the actual uh, moose horn. And uh, so this is your moose horn. It's a PVC pipe. It is a heck of a lot of fun. And, uh, and uh, you can talk to Sean at length about these things because uh, he shares the, the enthusiasm. And uh, it has a level at the bottom here that you can see. Maybe you can't, I'll try. Uh, I'm not level. Oh, holding a camera and trying to stabilize this thing is is a bad <laughs> is a bad spatial experience. So, oh my god. Okay, so we're level now. So you can see the the bubble floating. Uh, there is a mirror on uh, on uh, this this bottom part. There's a mirror here, and then at the top is your grid system. So you'll see that there's five squares across. So. Um, just uh, let's say that is a 10 centimeter uh, distance from the uh, far left uh, up here. So touching the corner, this is 10 centimeters all the way across. It's divided into five squares. So the distance of each square is two centimeters. Um, and it's a five by five grid touching. Uh, it's a square grid on a circular uh, part. So we're actually going to use it. I'll see if the camera will at least give you something. I, ha I can't guarantee it's, it's going to be the best, uh, the best quality, but uh, why not? Why not give it a go? So yeah, <laughs> let me see myself first. Uh, it, looks, it looks like it's not the clearest. Uh, the clearest image anyway so maybe maybe the glass is uh, is uh, needs to be cleaned up a bit but at the ver very minimum you can see <laughs> a poor resolution of a grid um. so we're looking at the same uh, aspen here and I just wanted to show you a little closer up of what the uh, chlorosis look like it wasn't very clear in that in that last segment but you can see the very distinct uh, yellowing on these uh, lower sections of the canopy and there's slight yellowing elsewhere but you'll see that it's mostly green um, so it's not too chlorotic again just 
segmented down to this lower uh, branching here. And there's a couple of trees here, but uh, there's still some chlorosis on, on, on the, this one here. So just wanted to show you that close up. Uh, again, this is a young tree, pretty healthy. Um, so uh, it has mostly live crown. Um, it's not too transparent. So you, you know, this is a good shot. Imagine the grid, grid system was there. Um, and there's not a lot of dieback either. So some tips uh, are missing some portions, but altogether it's intact. Here is a tree that has been infested with uh, gypsy moth and there's been two or three cycles so far this summer and you can actually visibly see the cobwebs uh, along where the leaves should be. So unlike our aspen that we just measured openness, transparency, and dieback. Uh, this is the complete opposite scenario. This is a, a tree in rough shape. Um, and you can see just visibly looking through the camera that it's mostly sky and that uh, in fact it's hard to even see the tree in this view because it, all you can see is sky and you can see the gypsy moth uh, nest there. So on this tree it is <laughs> mostly dead so the the crown dieback would be extremely high it's obviously very transparent um, and uh, as far as chlorosis uh, there's not any leaves to go chlorotic but uh, health wise the canopy is very very unhealthy um, i'd say there's only 10 percent of the canopy actually there um, so it's mostly open the live crown ratio would be, would be very small and uh, you're, you, if you come across a tree like this, you want to uh, mark it down as uh, certain to be doomed.